and Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're talking about Googling it, right? That's right. what everyone says. You don't know what an answer to something, you say Google it. Google search. Yeah. Um, it's the greatest search. It had, they have 70% of the market share. Oh, wow. Actually, yeah. I would have thought they would have had more. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, they started back in 1997, okay. and today they have over 70 million, no, 70 trillion Tree. pages That's in big. their index, their wow. search index. So I know they take, they go out and they uh, take all web pages and create an index of them, right? Right. So when you enter your search words or parameters, it goes out to its indexes and finds the most relevant ones for what you're looking for. That's right. And something interesting about Google search over the other search engines is it also searches documents. So if oh, you right. have PDFs or right. other or files images, right? or images yeah. stored on servers, it finds those as well. That's great. Right. Well, I think, you know, I think pretty much everyone uses Google search um, and is familiar with it, but it is, gets so complex and there's so many parameters that you can set up um, to really customize what you're searching for That's right. that we created this video, um, the complete guide, because um, you can just get crazy and very specific. Right. So, and um, they keep changing it. There's so yeah, many things every time it. I do it. I'm yeah. like, oh, there's something new. Yeah. So it's exciting. So. so I know in my family, whenever somebody asks a question and nobody knows the answer, we say, Google it. Right. So let's get Googling. Let's do it. So there are um, a couple different ways you can get to your Google search. The first one is to follow their regular nomenclature um, for getting to any other apps, which is the name of the app, in this case it's search, and then .google.com. So you do mail.google or drive.google. Right, right, right. And it automatically comes up with the right. .google.com because it knows. It knows. I've, always, typed, I've typed it before. It's always <laughs> indexing, always looking. Right. So this will bring you to the very basic <clears throat> Google search page. Um, so here I'm going to type in my field Apple because they, uh, Apple, this is the day after their big fall 2016 um release extravaganza, right, with mm -hmm. the new iPhone 7, so that's kind of a fun one to use for example. You can see here you just type, simple type, Google search. Or I could have just typed it in and hit return. Right. And it will come here. Um, the other way, before we get into the sort of more of the search features here, the other way you can do it is just to type in your URL field. And um, you, in order for this to work, you have to have Google um, in your preferences set up as your default browser. Right, or your default search engine. Yeah. yeah. In, your, right. in your web browser, Chrome, Safari, what, Firefox, whatever you're using, if you go to the preferences, you'll be able to choose what your default search engine is. Right. And um, yep. it defaults to Google yep. um, in and most of them. Yeah, so yep. if I type Apple up here, you know, it takes me to the same right into the same search. Fish, right into search. And um, it's good. I think it's good to point out we're on today. We're on a Mac, and um, we're using Chrome, but it's going to look very much the same in Safari or on a PC or your tablet or your phone. It's just going to be a little bit different layout, but it's basically the same features. Right. It might, might some things might look a little bit right. different, or depending on when you're watching this, things may have changed a little bit. They're always changing Google. Yeah, search. almost daily. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. we do their research for a video. And then we'll go to film it with yeah, anything different. Google, and it's yeah. different, and we yeah. like have to wing it as we're filming it, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. So, anyways, um, the first area. So here's my now. Now the Google search field is up here, and there's my Apple that I typed in. Right. The first one is all, and what that's going to do is it's going to bring up 2.1 million results. Wow! In under one second. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That is so crazy. That's crazy. And it's going to bring up everything. It's, so here's their website, and you see down here's some news articles. Um, here's the map with different stores in our area. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my gosh, Minnetonka Orchard, Orchards. It's not just Apple the company. It's bringing up it's Apple. Bringing up an Apple, right. I think it's funny on a day after the release, most of this page is Apple right. company. Right. I bet if it wasn't such a big news day for them, maybe um, there'd be more apples. Right. Not, you know, Exactly, <laughs> exactly, right. So this is bringing up everything. So now we're going to start customizing how we search. Maybe I just want to know news articles about this. So right. I'm going to click on news up here. Yeah. And then it's only going to bring up the news stuff, news articles. And it tells you how long ago it was. An hour ago, you know, these are all kind of fresh because, you know, that um, was a big announcement. The announcement. The announcement right. um, but it sort of leads us into something um, that you can further customize this. If you 
go to search tools. Right. So in every every search there, you can go yep. to search tools. And yep. And then depending on which one of these areas, which we're going to cover most of them, um, you're in when, it, when you go to search tools, it'll bring up different things down. There. Right. Right. Depending on. So yeah. here, I want to search by date. Right. For no. First of all, you can search new, all news or just blogs, which is nice because sometimes you want to yeah. just see the blogs. You don't want to. You want to see the people. Right. You want the people. <laughs> the power of the people. That's the right. Internet. You want to see cool, it. Right. It is. It's really awesome. And then the next feature, which is really nice, um, I'm gonna put this back. Down. The next feature. Oops. We lost our search. Ah, lost our search tools. Yeah. The next one I'm gonna do is search by date. Right. And this is really handy. Um, I find myself using this feature a lot oh, because, because I don't want something that's, you know, if I'm looking up a topic, especially, I don't want something that's, you know, three years old. Right. I'm almost always coming in here changing it to past year. Exactly. But maybe you right? realize maybe something you old. Right. right. You the can. year. I, I don't want to hear about the release anymore about Apple. I'm going to go past year and see if I can find some older stuff. And no. No, you don't have to go many pages <laughs> ahead. I'll show the page to navigation, oh, right, yeah. too. Yep, down here it shows you pages. You know, it's funny, the studies very rarely do people go past page one of a search. Right, that's right. But there are so many. And look, here I am back here in September 2nd. So it's right here. Right, now you're going to be way back there. Huh? Still in Not August. Only, yeah, well, there's a lot of news about Apple, right? <laughs> sure is. Anyway, so there are pages to your search. But, um, so that's searching by date. It can be really great. Right. Or you can do a custom, custom range, range if you're you looking to. for yep. something specific mm -hmm. in a date range. You can do that. So the next one is sort by relevance. You can do it by relevance or by date. Right. So it's kind of fun. And then you can see as I pick date, other things pop up. Right. So, you you know, we're not going to go through every little thing, but you can see like how you can really specific with your search. Right, right. So take time to, to poke yeah. around and look at the options that it's giving you because right. you can really get very specific um, right. information. There. Now the next one we're going to look at the main category in search criteria is maps. And this is really good. In this example of our search of Apple, it really is helpful. Right. Because now it's showing us all the Apple stores in town. That's right. And where they are. Right. right. So that's a nice feature. Um, I find when you go to the map search, you have to go use the back. Right, you have to do the back arrow because it's meant to get you back to the search. Okay. Right. So maps can be quite handy too. You really may handy. have. I use maps all the time. Yeah. And when you find something, go ahead and click on one of the offerings. Now this is really nice because here you can do things yeah. like you can save it and, and it'll sync to your right. phone or your yep. device. You could call them by going down yeah. to call or to the website. You can see the hours. And this is all just Google information yep. um, being served up to you. So yep. it's nice. So you go back here. I really use it as a phone book, don't you? I mean, oh, yeah. Not that I would ever yeah. use a phone book anymore, but I always you use know, it. You know, and they Google still Maps. deliver that paper phone book. They do. So, the local I just, one. I get like oh. right in the <laughs> <laughs> But it's really nice and handy on your phone, too, to use Google Maps right. that way. As a, as a, so as we were typing, I kind of uh, accidentally, but... Fine. Images. Done. images. Perfect. Images is one of my favorite search features. Oh yeah, it's um, nice. We're using it all the time for like the artwork of our thumbnails and our video, right? And things like that. So here we're still searching our Apple, but we just went to images, and you can see it's bringing up a bunch of Apple logos, a bunch of Apple products, and right. real apples, right? right. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Oops, my, my uh, keyboard's kind of touching here. So it's kind of fun, and you can see here now we're in our search tools. We got more options. Right. But before I do that, let's point out um, these new tag words, which are new, relatively new. Right. They um, are giving us, you know, um, the tags that are, they're using in the search. So you can further, you know, customize your search by well, taking those away. Yeah. Maybe I just want to search honey crisp apples. Right. We're not really into computers right now. Right. There's mm -hmm. one Chris. Right. And I only want organic, of course, of course right? Especially <laughs> apples, right? Yeah. So you see, you can really customize it. And now, if you use Pinterest, you're going to say, this looks a lot like Pinterest. Mm -hmm. And this just came out, I don't know, maybe in the last year, with right. the way they search. And they're really trying to um, make it more friendly. Yeah. Well, trying necessary. to get some people back from Pinterest. Right. It's a huge place for image searching. 
So then um, you, there's several different ways you can search with images. You can get really complicated, complex with it. There's by size. We use this one a lot um, to make sure it's not too small. Right. Um, so usually I'll pick large. Okay. Means that the artwork is going to be you know big enough for you to use, but you can do any size you want. Right. Color is very helpful. Um, I always pick transparent, which means it's going to be the the artwork item, and then the background is going to be transparent, so I can overlay it on our photo for our thumbnails. Right, right. But you know, maybe you just want to see black and white images. Right. It's yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's great. And then type, you can pick um, what type it is. Um, you know, sometimes you don't want. Let me take it out that way. Yeah. Um, for type, sometimes you don't want. Um, like I don't want any. Uh, oops. I don't want. I just want clip art. You just want clip art. No photos. No photos. So now you're getting all the clip art. Yeah. So it's really amazing, right? Right. And of course, when it was done, which for images, I'm not. Mm, that is relevant. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one that's really relevant, and this is usage rights. Right. Um, you don't need to be concerned unless your product is for sale, and um, like we can get away using Apple logos because um, of something. On, Fair use clause because we're teaching oh. with it, so we can use it on our videos. But if you were just making another video, you probably wouldn't be able to use it that wasn't teaching. Uh -huh. So, um, and if you're selling something, for sure you can't use a copyrighted image. Right. So right. what you need to do uh, is pay attention to this and um, Google, you know, copyright usage, right. and fair year, or fair usage, usage, so you don't get yourself in trouble. Right. Exactly. Especially right. since if you're putting something on the internet. Right. But this is nice, this search feature, it's because really nice. um, if you are doing using an application where you can't use something that's copyrighted, well, you can find one, you know, here, pick ones that will show up that are copyright free. Right. And then, you know, you can get more complex, different sizes and things like that. And then they have a nice clear feature. Go back to the new beginning. Yeah. Yep. So yep. I find the image search is awesome. It's wonderful. Um, the next one is shopping. And oh, I, I love this one nice. too, right? It's very nice, yeah. Now I'm going to leave it here on Apple. And it will show, you know, of course we're seeing Apple products, right? Right, exactly. But I had a more fun one. This one kind of gives you like a basic web page. But actually, just the other yesterday, I was looking for a, a tassel necklace. Because you know, they're very in style. Did they you know are, that? I did know that. that. I did, yes. And that I like this. It brings up the pictures, right? Right. That's very really nice. nice. What I love about this. Because I have so many uh, parameters that I can choose from. Oh, right. Like, um, men's. Right. Men's tassel no, I don't want a man. <laughs> and I, want, I want it to be silver, right? Uh huh. And I can pick a pipe price range if I wanted. Or here I can do different sorting, you know, high to low. Or maybe I care. In this case, I don't really care about a review, but if it was a different kind of product, right. I would. Right. Right. So I think this is really um, their shopping search is really sophisticated. And let's see, like, oh, I like this one here. So I'm going to click on that, right? And then it shows me, you know, that it's at Kohl's. And if I click shop, it's going to take me to the Kohl's right, page. Right. And I can just buy it. So I think this the shop search is really, my kids kind of got me into it. That's the way when they're looking for presents and stuff, they use the Google Shop. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's yeah. a nice feature. It, it does. does have a lot of, uh, and it brings up all the major realtors and uh, <laughs> retailers. Retailers. <laughs> we do a lot of re realtor training. Yeah. Realtor. Um, and, and small ones too. So it's pretty. It's a pretty good one. Right. It's really think? nice. Yes, I like the one. Yeah. yeah. So then um, I'm going to go back here and click on all, and we're back at our all search. So those are the main uh, areas of searching. Right. And then there's some fun there's stuff. There's some fun do. stuff. Right. Uh, because one of them that is kind of built in. Is were you going to say something? No, no, no. This, oh. The conversions. They're just yeah, they the keep conversions. adding and changing things, and really, yeah. it's just great. Yeah, and I really like the conversions ones. Um, cups. Oops. How many cups in a pound? Yeah. And here's something else to know. Just stop for a second. Okay. Without just look at what it's doing down below where she's typing. Is it's it's giving you? Did you mean cups of flour, of sugar, of butter, right. of rice? You could pick one of those by just moving your mouse down right. and clicking it, or you can just ignore it and go with what you're typing. So you don't have to take those, but a lot of times you just right. start typing one or two letters, and then it'll show you right. what you want. Right. So I'm going to do cups and pounds. 
and it's going to oh, bring up. Oh, it varies depending on the type of sugar. Okay. Oh, my. Wow. Well, it didn't bring up the conversion. No, right? it didn't. No. Uh, oh, it's a oh, so That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so we did that so we can pick it. Yeah, once is in a cup. Here's the conversion. This is what we were looking for. Right. And this is so cool. Like right now it's searching volume, but you can do anything. Right. With temperature, temperature, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Right. What is it? Yeah. So this is really handy. It's just kind of built right into Google. Right, and that's really nice. You don't have to go to a separate area. You can just do it right, right. in Google search. And the other thing that is like that is the language translation, which I use quite a lot too. So I'm going to say... Because you're talking to a lot yeah, of foreign people. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I like to text my kids when they're coming home on the bus. Okay. And I text them um, in all different languages, you know, oh, good that's afternoon. Smart. I know. That's smart. Know. Helping them learn with a good mom. Uh, so I just type in, what is hello in French? Right? Yeah. So once you do that, you can change your... You can change your setting. It's like detected you, English because it knew what hello right. was. And it, or and now here you can you can change it to something in all different languages. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. And sometimes it'll show you like pick another language. Sometimes it'll show you how it's actually how it, right. to say it. Let's like, see. Mm -hmm. Dutch probably. Yeah. That, that's gonna be interesting. Hello. Oh, yeah. Well, oh. I think it's such a. Um, we probably gonna go to one. The same, yeah. yeah. Type in something else, like sister. So, well, let's not go to Dutch. Go to German, because it's the same. Okay. German would be different. Schwestern. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. So you can you also learn the language this way, too. Yeah, it's a super handy feature. Yeah. And then you can, you know, this is a subset. If you look down below it, of Google Translate. So that's a whole other Google product. Right. I'll translate that's even more involved. Yeah, if you want to get more But I've typed in whole paragraphs in and this comes up. feature yeah. and it comes up. Like sometimes we'll have on our YouTube channel comments that are in French. Right. And I don't know what they're saying. I mean, no, I'm, tr I'm trusting Google here. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, to tell me that what it's really saying. But yeah. So that's a fun feature. Another one is um, you can look up lyrics. Yeah. And I'm going to type in um, live lyrics. And Alive is a song by Sia, who sang last night at the uh, Apple address. So right. we're looking that up. But I just typed in a song name and the word lyrics. And look, it right. brought up the lyrics. And this is something that Apple, they bought a company that does lyrics, and so now they this is like eight months ago. Yeah, right. Now. So it's, it's really nice. Fun. You can just see the lyrics right here in in the in the search right. engine, right in the browser. And then uh, to further that, I'm going to do Sia albums. Yeah, this is a cool thing that we're doing now, too. Um, so it's changing the way the web browser looks. So yeah. across the top, it's showing you all her albums, and then... Um, you can click on any of them. Go ahead and click on one of them, and it'll bring up um, the information about the album over here on the right. right. And it's showing you what songs are in that yep. album and cool. so on. See all our albums, and you could search, you know, movies by a certain director. Right. In the director or an name, actor. Movie. Yeah. Um, you know, Hitchcock movies. Right. So then it would bring up all the Hitchcock movies. Yeah. And books, you can do that way as well. Right. Books. Yeah. So it's kind of a fun, another fun feature to the Google search. And I think the thing that's great about Google, as we've said before in this video, is that they're always changing. They're always updating. They're always, I'm constantly finding these new little features like this right, to right. use for the Google search. Right. They're finding different ways that they can present the information to us that's interesting. It's not just a line and helpful. anymore. Right. right. Yeah. And helpful. It's right. not just a, here's a list of things you can look at. It's They're trying to format it in a helpful manner that'll help you, um, Learn the information right. and find what you're looking for. So. so get out there and start Googling, and we hope you've had fun learning with Sing Sisters. Thanks for watching the Sing Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.